what is up xrp community welcome back to another video thank you for joining me if you guys do use twitter you can find my twitter in the video description below or on the screen drippy xrp i post relevant content that's not always in my videos so maybe something's going on with ripple because right now we have 144,000 posts and ripple is trending on twitter you always like to see that and guys if you enjoy the content in this video smash that like button it's free and it genuinely supports the channel so thank you in advance people always ask how much XRP do I need to be like financially free in the future, assuming the price will appreciate a lot, which Ripple CTO David Schwartz, I've covered this in previous videos, David Schwartz has basically explained the price of XRP can't be low if lots of money is moving through the network. So right now we just got regulatory clarity, but keep in mind a lot of banks, hundreds, I think like 200 or 300 banks already use Ripple Net which is their real-time settlement tool. It doesn't involve XRP because, of course, big banks have hundreds of lawyers, and these lawyers won't tell them to use a cryptocurrency unless there's pure regulatory clarity. Now, if you've ever made sales and the product you sell is good, it typically creates more lead generation. So Ripple already has their foot in the door. Now, back to what I was saying here. 27% of all XRP wallets are comprised with less than 20 tokens each. All right, so... You guys are already in the 75th percentile, or I guess I have it wrong. But my point of, of this tweet is that it doesn't matter how many you hold, a lot of people don't hold that much. And in the future, it's always going to be about how long can you hold it. When the price appreciates, you will want to sell. One dollar of Bitcoin in 2009 is $6 million at the peak of the last bull run. Now, how many people kept their Bitcoin through that whole bull run? Not too many. I've covered this crazy document before, guys. It basically describes the IMF, International Monetary Fund, being the future global central bank. I'm not really a fan of globalization. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below on globalization. But Christine Lagarde, one of the big power players in this global financial system, and this document is super revealing. It went all the way back to 2016. You can watch the full conference. It's titled Bretton Woods at 75, celebrating the IMF and World Bank turning 75 years old rethinking international cooperation okay the focus was on how the u.s dollar as the world reserve currency is something that is less optimal for the global financial system and really quick guys if you need a spot to get xrp or flare i recommend uphold sleek simple and secure and that's where i dollar cost average and get my xrp and flare daily you can find a link to uphold in the video description below the second message that was given throughout the panel discussion was that there's a need for a more equal power structure between the major currencies, the US dollar, the euro, and the renminbi, which effectively would mean a reduction in the global role for the US dollar. A multipolar relationship between the major currencies would be the preferred structure. Now, it's clear the US dollar, we're seeing a reduction in its global role. Look at when Saudi Arabia, this past year, I think it was six months ago, Saudi Arabia has traditionally only sold its oil for dollars. What happened this year? They started accepting other currencies. The U.S. gains a lot of its power from the petrodollar. And when people stop accepting and stop respecting the petrodollar, we're going to see a reduction in the global role for the U.S. dollar. This guy says, what sparked my entrance interest was the mention of the Triffin plan and the Keynes plan. Quote from the conference. We can imagine a new expanded role for the International Monetary Fund by adapting and modernizing some old ideas of what's called the Keynes Plan and the Trifflin Plan. If you look up the definition of the Keynes Plan as well as the Trifflin Plan, you'll find something interesting. The Keynes Plan is an alternative set of proposals for international monetary institutions proposed by economist John Maynard Keynes at the Bretton Woods negotiations on post-war monetary arrangements in 1944. The Keynes Plan would have involved the creation of an international monetary unit. So not the dollar, not the renminbi, not the euro, a new international currency called the Bancor. The plan was rejected by the IMF and was set up instead on lines proposed by the United States. So Bretton Woods in 1944 established the gold standard and the U.S. dollar being supreme. This happened in 2016. They're basically rethinking the Bretton Woods Conference. Just look at inflation. 
Inflation's bad in the United States, but other countries that are tied to our economy, which is pretty much everyone because the US dollar is the world reserve currency, their inflation is way worse. So the dollar can't just keep going on forever like this. And an international monetary unit, a new international currency, isn't that far-fetched. That means that the Bancor was part of the Keynes plan. The following is the definition of a Bancor. The Bancor was a supranational currency that John Maynard Keynes and E. Schumacher conceptualized in the years 1940 and 42, in which the United Kingdom proposed to introduce after World War II. This newly created supranational currency would then be used in international trade as a unit of account within a multilateral clearing system, the International Clearing Union, which would also have to be founded. Now, if you do watch this conference, the IMF head chief, Christine Lagarde, talks about how the IMF wants a more central role. And I'm speculating here, but I don't think it's too far-fetched. I believe the International Clearing Union would be the IMF. Supranational currency was then part of the Keynes plan. Now, here is something additional that also caught my attention. XRP was labeled as a supranational currency in an official document discussing digital fiat currencies. Now, the picture is scrubbed, but I've covered this probably a year and a half ago when I started this channel, and the picture used to be here, and it was from a central bank, and I'm sure if I do enough digging, I'll be able to find other documents mentioning XRP as a supranational currency. What is also displays is that Bitcoin is being labeled as a cryptocurrency. Specific labels are very important, especially in official documents. So what then is the Keynes Trifflin plan? It's a radical solution to create a new international organization, an international central bank, to which would be handed over the foreign exchange reserves of all countries. This is the Keynes Trifflin plan on international liquidity. And what is going on in the macroeconomic situation right now? A liquidity crisis. So this plan is even more favorable. The major obstacle to its implementation would be the reluctance of countries to give up their sovereignty over reserves, but it can be considered as a proposal to set the ball rolling for future negotiations. There's a quote here from the IMF. This is what Christine Lagarde said. You could imagine the IMF could centralize reserve sharing agreements by administering a global reserve facility at the IMF, perhaps, by building on the existing drawing rights. The IMF could also try to multilateralize decentralized parts and largely discretion network of bilateral swap lines, either by acting as a central counterparty for these bilateral swap lines and absorbing some of the counterparty risk, or by offering itself its own short-term swap facility. So a lot of big words there. A bilateral swap line is when I trade currency as the USA with Japan. There's no central counterparty. It's just the Bank of Japan and the Federal Reserve of the United States. Now, the United States, in many powerful economic countries with strong currencies, don't swap with other third world countries because there is a lot of counterparty risk. So this central counterparty basically makes it safer for countries all over the globe, regardless if you're a third world country or a first world country, to be able to swap. It is thus evident in how they envision the IMF as being a counterparty to the central banks. An argument was made that the IMF could essentially lower the sovereign risk be between central banks, since if the IMF absorbed the risk instead of the central banks, they could lower the risk for central banks as a whole. Okay, kind of like what I was just describing here. So if you guys do find this interesting, just Google Ripple, Ripple's connection with the IMF and central banks. The document's pretty long, but if you hold XRP and you're bullish on it and you want to learn more, this is definitely the document I would recommend. I want to leave you guys with this interesting clip uh, about the pineal gland. If you don't know what that is, you'll find this very interesting. If you made it to the end of the video, comment pineal gland in the comment section below. It really supports the channel, and I do appreciate your time. Take a listen. The pineal gland is the third eye. When you read the story of Pinocchio, Pinocchio has two words, pine, P-I-N, pineal gland, and occhio is ocula. Occhio in Italian is eye. That's why you go to an oculist. So Pinocchio means the pineal gland. Pinocchio is a puppet. He's not a real person. In order to become a real person, to ascend, you have to activate your pineal gland. You have to stop telling lies. You have to stop being deceived by your friends. You have to stop going to the circuses and the shows. As all the philosophers have ever said, getting drunk, intoxicated with drugs, and to be sober. So the pineal gland is the third eye. 
and it's our highest consciousness. If you want to be real, just read the story of Pinocchio and activate your Pinocchio. On your gland is the third eye. When you read Thank you guys for watching. Let me know your thoughts on this story right here about Pinocchio. A lot of people think that's far-fetched, but I do really believe in this stuff. Uh, God bless you guys all. Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. Until next time.